So I have returns, and um, it's always a little bit messy. So we're going to um, take care of what we need to take care of, and you guys are going to help me along with that. Um, yeah. The obvious thing, I came back and my door was open. I don't think I left it open. start here with the bookshelf area we're gonna put everything back where it's supposed to be um, a lot of times what makes me leave in a rush is if I'm going to do something that I've been long waiting to do for a while and for whatever reason um, it's been held up <laughs> and then oh, when I finally get a chance to get out and do what I need to do it's like my mindset is, you know, it's now or never, so I need to just hurry up and do it, so I'll rush out. Um, yeah, so I want to prevent that from happening, so if every day I'm doing something towards the um, prevention of that, then that would be good. Um, I want to, like I said, wash everything. I washed the comforters and whatever um, today. And I started putting them away in the bags. And now, like I said, we're going through um, getting this done. I have a plug-in. Not sure where to put it. I guess I should put it in the bathroom. So, um, yeah, I'm going to put this little corner for things that need to place in the bathroom. Um, And then I have these clothes that are semi-clean, meaning they were washed, but they got mixed in with other stuff. They're still fairly clean. Um, some of them smell like food because when I cook in here, which I don't want to do because it's closed up and all your clothes and stuff start smelling like that. And food on like already done clothes is not a good, good scent. So. Um, so for right now, I will keep these sorted over here. Um, and I will mash them up as I go along. These I will wash because they do have a food scent in them because they were out. The other clothes were in plastic bags, so you couldn't really smell the food in them. Audrey Hernandez suffered from severe migraine headaches for more than two years. And I just want you all to be aware, like right now I'm listening to Pandora. It's the relaxation station. And a lot of times when you... Um, are listening to those things again just like you know tv television programming you're programmed by the ads if you notice like for me anyways i don't know what the deal is like you might have one happy family when family does not relate to me because i don't have a family i'm not planning on having a family then you have these things about just being unwell <laughs> you know all types of unwellness in hospitals and you know, and so it programs you that. And once you start thinking about that, you know, the molecules of your existence start to follow that. So it's just, I, you know, I'm not a fan of that. So I just want you to be mindful of what you're taking in and you're programming into yourself. Um, speaking of which, I'm going to talk about emotions. Um, but in order for me to do that, that's like a sit, real sit down um, kind of thing. I guess I could brush brush over them real quick but I did already um anger hurt relaxation sadness fear hurt relaxation and so those are some of the um general emotions that I had already <laughs> today and I want you all a lot of times we're not mindful of the things that we're feeling or why we're feeling them but when you feel these different twinges you know of whatever emotion you're feeling I want you to be cognizant of it I want you to be aware of it I want you to jot down that feeling like for my anger I placed in red hurt in green relaxation in blue, sadness in black, fear in purple. I got that from inside out. And um, and yeah, so that way you can visualize it. And then also you have an understanding of what created that motion, emotion inside of you. If you felt anger, what was it that made you angry? Or if you feel something that you don't know how to classify it, when you feel that twinge of whatever it is that's different, ask yourself, what emotion am I feeling? Am I angry? Am I sad? Am I happy? Am I glad? <laughs> And jot it down and then ask yourself why do you feel that way what made you feel that way about that situation 
and then provide yourself with a resolution to it. And what I'm finding is a resolution so far to the first um, few of mine well, is that if people don't respect you, then you don't need to have anything to do with them. What do they matter? <laughs> they do not respect you. So keep moving, you know? So um, that's a good exercise, I think, for us to do. But anyways, back to um, my, my cleaning endeavor here. Um, I went out today, like I said, to do, to wash linens and all that type of thing. And um, every time I wash linens, I feel like, even regardless of whether it really calls for that, like I just want to wash everything just to have like a whole brand new start. <laughs> and, um, and if you have a small environment like I do, um, and for me, I try to keep everything self-contained because you're in a situation where you don't know the other people that are there and, you know, for whatever reason, you may not want to, you know, you may be, it may be just for you yourself where you're in a mode of recuperation, you're recuperating from some tragic events. So you just need some musa time to yourself and you don't need a lot of complications. I get it. Or you just might not like, <laughs> you know, those people. Um, but whatever the situation is, um, if you have a small space and you kind of like to keep things self-contained, what I would recommend is that I try to do different things because if you cook in your small space, it's going to smell up the whole place and it's not a good thing because your clothes are going to smell, smell like that. And uh, if you've ever been around people that work in restaurants and things like that, it's not a pleasant smell when you're not in the presence of the food people are like hmm okay that smells interesting you don't want that um so there's different alternatives to get around that um right now what i'm doing is a lot of like non-perishables and then pretty much i'm going forward i'm probably be going to be doing um rice and kimchi the whole time with maybe some little you know things added to it um yeah so we're doing 10 minute intervals, increments. And again, this is to get myself in gear too. So I'm unloading this bag. This is my to-go bag. Whenever I go somewhere, I fill it with the things that I need to go. And let's see what's in my to-go bag today. I brought lunch with me because um, I was getting hungry, but I wanted to make sure that I got what I had to get taken care of, taken care of. So I brought lunch with me. I had the duct tape because I don't know where my bungee cord is. So I was using that for my rolling dolly for my big comforters and things. I also use it for props on my mini desk which is below that you cannot see. And I had scissors to cut the duct tape unless I needed if I needed to make more. Then I had wet naps because I had wings for lunch and I didn't want all this stuff on my fingers. Um what else do I have in my handy bag? And that's it. And this is um my to go bag within a to go bag. And for that, I usually keep it, um, that's interesting. I don't know where I have this. <laughs> I had it somewhere, but, um, oh yeah, it's up here. I have, for my to-go bags, I have a space on the wall for everything. Um, yeah, so, everything. Then, of course, I had my change for the laundry, and we're going to put that where my finances go. <laughs> and what else do I have in here? Always carry a water bottle with me wherever I go. That way I'm not dehydrated. I'm not running around trying to find cold water and not spending money for water. I have ice water that melts gradually throughout the day. And it's at the end of my, I'm going to try to finish. I have a minute to do, finish my to-go bag. Yep, that's the end of uh, my powder to go back. So I'm all good. It's empty. And again, I have a place for it on the wall of fame. And I'm going to go um, put my water back. And I'll be back for the next segment.